Did you know that in Secret of Mana for the Super Nintendo, you can get the most powerful weapon in the game? A weapon you're not supposed to get until the last phase of the final boss of the game. I didn't at first, but once I found out about this glitch, I had to try it. And if you want to get the most powerful weapon in the game, be sure to subscribe to my channel for a plethora of gaming related topics, theories, lore, and discussions. This is my guide on how to get the ninth Sword Orb in Secret of Mana. One of the mechanics in Secret of Mana is that not only do your characters level up, but all of the weapons do as well. Each weapon can be leveled up to level 8 by obtaining different orbs for the specific weapon. Then, by visiting Watts at any of his locations around the world, he will upgrade your weapon. But what if you could upgrade the sword to level 9 and have the most powerful weapon in the game? Before we start this, I need to make it known that this glitch only works in the North American version of Secret of Mana. So if you are in another country, you will need a North American cartridge or ROM. The ninth version of the sword is the Mana Sword. The only way to get this during normal gameplay is by Dryad's final spell, Mana Magic. When both the girl and the sprite cast Mana Magic on the boy, the Dragon Buster becomes the Mana Sword. But that's the normal way. The boring way. Let me show you how to perform this glitch. In order to do this glitch, there are some requirements. First, you need to have unlocked Flammy. Second, you will need to make sure that your sword is at level 8. And third, you will need to be at the last part of the game, the Mana Fortress. With all of that out of the way, call Flammy and head to the Ice Country. But just don't land anywhere in the Ice Country. You want to land on a small circular island near the Ice Palace. There you will find Nico. While you're there, you can either buy items from him or not. It doesn't really matter. What you need to do next is save your game. Once you have saved the game, you need to do a soft reset by holding the L, R, Select, and Start buttons at the same time in your controller. Once the game is restarted, you next want to start a new game and play all the way up until the Mantis Ant boss fight. Once you start the fight, wait until the text on the screen says, You have a sword, don't you? Use it! When that text appears, do another soft reset, but hold the button combination for at least 5 seconds. After the game is restarted the second time, you will want to load your original Nico save, and in doing so, you will be back at the Mantis Ant fight. Kill it with one hit, and then wait till you are able to take control of your character again and call Flammy and then find one of Watt's locations and forge your sword. Congratulations, you now have a permanent mana sword, giving you an attack power of 226. Pretty neat, huh? From everything I could find on the internet, this is as basic as I can make this explanation. Even I don't fully understand it, so I hope this helps a little bit. And if someone can actually understand this and can explain it better, please comment below and let me know if this is even close to right or what's going on here. So here's what I found. The reason this glitch occurs is because of a memory read error. In Secret of Mana, when you transition screens, an ID is stored in the game's RAM. When you call Flammy, that causes the ID to become null or zero. So for some reason, the location where you land in the ice country has an ID of zero. Then when you land there and save, a null value is saved on the entrance ID. And when you soft reset the game, it doesn't clear the ID. So when you load such a save, the null value cannot override a previous ID value. Hence you get placed where you did the soft reset or the Mantis Ant fight from the brand new file. 
But if you hard reset and load the original save, the game will crash because the entrance ID is null and there's nothing stored in the RAM as well. I will give one word of caution though, from personal experience. The first time I did this glitch, it was the first time I'd actually beaten the game. I didn't know about all the effects this glitch can cause to your game. So after I did this glitch, I made it to the end boss and the game was proceeding as normal. I went on to defeat the Mana Beast, and still things were on track. I even made it all the way through the credits and to the THE END screen, and nothing happened. So I thought, cool, I guess this is a safe glitch. It wasn't until I booted up the game again when I saw the effects this glitch had. Like I mentioned before, this was the first time I'd beaten Secret of Mana. So I had some newer save files on the cartridge. But it also had two save files from when I used to play it with my neighbor as a kid. So I boot up the game and again go to select my save file with the glitch to show my brother. When I get to the save file selection screen, all four slots were blank. The result of this glitch had erased all the save files on the cartridge. I was devastated because not only had I beaten the game for the first time, but all my characters were level 99, all weapons and magic were at level 8. And although this is just a personal experience, again, I want to reiterate, proceed at your own risk. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my video about the ninth Sword Orb glitch in Secret of Mana. What are your thoughts? Have you tried this glitch before? What happened when you did? Let me know in the comments below. The best way to stay up to date with my channel is to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Also, if you liked this video, please leave a like. But if you didn't, that other button seems to work pretty well too. And if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel for a plethora of gaming related topics, theories, lore, and discussion. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.